Max and Harvey here, and we are at the Royal Institution in London. It's all exciting. We're going to blow some stuff up today. Well, we have the lovely Fran and Gemma <laughs> over here, who are scientists of all kinds. They're going to be helping us safely blow things up. We're yes. not actually just going to be blowing yes. stuff up. That's, yes. not, that's not quite what's going on. No. Do you guys want to give us a little bit of an explanation of what we're actually doing today, please? <laughs> well, we're basically going to be doing a whole load of demonstrations, and we'll take you through, obviously you'll be doing them, yes. but we'll take you through how to do them step by step by step, and we'll sort of explain a little bit of the science behind them as well. Amazing. I can't wait! Let's do it! <laughs> So the first experiment we are going to be doing has one of the most exciting names. It's indoor fireworks. Oh, yes. Brand, what are we doing with them? <laughs> so we're going to start small, right? Yes. And with the things that actually set indoor fireworks off. So bear in mind, the thing that's going to go bang is not the button, but it's the black. Yeah, the button. <laughs> 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 the button. Yeah. You know what? The thing was, I was actually anticipating the button to just like explode in my face. And so you were leaning quite like close. This you were like this. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I, I, I love that. Hang on, you enjoy, I, I actually thought you'd be disappointed with that. No, no, that was so <laughs> silly. It was funny. Because that's just the match, right? Ooh. And you use the match to set off bigger things. Okay. So now we have a much bigger firework uh, inside. I'm going to put the key in. We'll get straight to it. I don't don't accidentally lean on the button, please. Yeah. There we go. So live on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. And so you can see that in the top of that. Yeah. You see the wire? Yeah. In the top of that is an e-match, but also in the tube is basically a little bit of gunpowder, oh but also God. some titanium to make it nice and pretty. In three, two, one. Oh! oh! That's sick! That's so cool! I love that. That was awesome. Again, 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 again! <laughs> that was pretty, yeah. right? But it wasn't loud. Oh, no. Okay. So here, what we've got is known as a squib. And a squib is basically, um, it's what they use to replicate gunshots in movies. So I can put this in and um, see what happens. <laughs> I'm now scared. So we've been told for this one, it's so loud, we're gonna need ear defenders. So for anyone using headphones at home, I'm sorry. Okay. Has everyone, got, right. everyone got their ears we're covered? We're doing this together. It's live. Oh. It's, yeah, yeah, we're In will. three, two, one. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 It's loud. <laughs> All right. Now we have the incredible liquid nitrogen that freezes anything it touches. It's not like it, that, that's not what it's known as. I just said that for effect. And because you can't get it anywhere, we have Gemma here helping us. She's going to basically do everything for us in terms of pouring liquid nitrogen and handling it so that we don't hurt ourselves because it's not the safest thing in the world. Not Gemma, please tell us what's going on. All right, so I've got some liquid nitrogen in here. I'm going to pour it into this bowl for you and then we're going to have a bit of fun. Even try a little bit of food Whoa. as well. Oh my gosh. Look at that pour. Liquid nitrogen for days. So yeah, basically, just to give people a heads up, if I went and put my hand in there right now, I wouldn't have a hand. Freeze. So Gone. that's why we need to be very careful. Like, because liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees Celsius. So it's really fun, but it's not something that you want to take lightly. That's cold. <laughs> so what are we doing first, Gemma? So first thing, you should have under your table some balloons. We're yes. going to have a look at your breath. <laughs> yep, I think that's... About a good size, you've got a weird one, obviously. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and Wait. tie that one up, Max, and, and use the tongs to sort of press it down in there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. no, not all of it, Max. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. So, oh, right there, so right there, that is your liquid breath. So a lot of it's all oh water. I can see yeah. it. <laughs> oh, it's actually in there. Oh my gosh. Wait, Tom, can I get closer for this? I can, I can see it from this side. I don't know if you can see it from that side. That's so weird. That's my breath right there. So what's up next, Gemma? So how do you two feel about ice cream? I like ice cream. Like it's ice a fun cream. thing. It's a, it's a good, it's a good substance. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. So underneath your uh, table, you should have some bottles of melted ice cream. Incredible. Oh my gosh. Now, I thought maybe we could have a go at putting some in the liquid nitrogen. That makes more sense. It does make more sense. <laughs> so gloves on again? Gloves on again, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try and draw ooh, a cat. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, you know what, it's fine. We'll do, we'll, do the, we'll do the face, and then the ear, and then another ear, and then eye, eye, mouth. Oh, there's a triangle there. 
<laughs> so you can see, you can see what, what I was going for it this way. <laughs> you get it at a certain angle, it does look like a cat. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to be attempting to draw a circle, but it, it's going to be a perfect circle, basically. All right, here we go. So that was a lot of fun with the liquid nitrogen, but now I think we might be moving on to fire as I've got a lighter in front of me. Fran, what's happening? Thanks. Okay, uh, what's this? Cotton. cotton. It is, it looks like cotton wool, right? Yes. And yeah. mine actually is cotton wool. Okay. Um, so cotton wool is just cellulose, so a plant-based material, cotton wool. Underneath your table, you've got something that looks like cotton wool. It looks like cotton wool that's kind of been through a lot. Yeah, and it, ha it, it, it has been, it's <laughs> definitely been through a lot. So it's been um, treated with hydrochloric acid, nitric acid. Basically, it's been what we call nitrated. Set it alight. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, it hit it, but it didn't. Maybe it's just not quite hot enough yet. Oh. Well, see, Fran seems to be magic. Oh. oh my God. So I did make that shot. That's so I'll sick. try again. Hang on. <laughs> First try! Airplane. Yeah! So we've touched cotton, it's quite good. Yes, you can burn it in your hand if you're careful. But yes. it's quite a small flame, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we're going to try something with a bit of a bigger flame now. Um, this is not something you should try at home. Yeah. What I'm going to do is take a flammable gas and put it into this bowl. It's just a bowl of water with some washing up liquid. And so, when I add the gas, it forms bubbles. Those bubbles aren't full of air, like normal, they're full of flammable gas. So cool. Can I take a guess? Am I scooping them up? You're scooping them up, bubbles only, not much liquid. Yeah. So you get in there, this way. Yeah, get all the way down. Like that. Oh, that'll be okay. Yeah, let's see what happens there. <laughs> yeah, get a few more. Going back the other way. Nice. Double dip. Oh. Okay, <laughs> then over the tray. Over the tray. Yeah, and then max you light, and it, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah! You can get, get it right down, down, get right down. Get it all, get it all on Max. <laughs> you two hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go. Oh, yeah. arms and legs, that's yeah. all right, that's all right. There you go. Oh, fire! <laughs> so this next one, we've had a little bit of a lighting change because you know, it'll look cooler. It's called the whoosh bottle and it uses alcohol. But yeah, we're going to be basically putting a bit of fire into this bottle and it, it'll go whoosh. <laughs> that's what happens, isn't Maybe it? Maybe we should let the scientists Maybe explain that's what's about to happen. Scientists <laughs> explain it. Yes, so we've got some ethanol in there, and it's the gas that is flammable. So just Ooh. like with the bubbles before that we were lighting the gas, we're now lighting that ethanol gas that's inside. Swap hands. I'm ready to what? Swap hands. Let's go! Okay, there we go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so Fran, what are we doing now? Okay, so what we're gonna do is set fire to ice. Oh. <laughs> so calcium carbide, when it's dry, it doesn't really do much. As soon as it becomes wet, it produces a, a flammable gas called acetylene, Ooh. right? So I am gonna make it wet with these ice cubes, and then you're gonna light, yeah, light the acetylene. Okay, right, let's have, let's have the candle out. This is the most difficult part. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it froze. All right, you ready? So I'm, I'll make it wet, and you'll see the gas coming off. Ready? 
So we have one final insanely cool experiment to do, but before we do that we just wanted to say thank you so much to the Royal Institution for having us and thank you Fran and Gemma for showing us all your incredible skills and teaching us how to science. We will be linking all of their stuff below, so make sure you check it out and the Royal Institution post every single week. We do stuff just like this that you can check out. Make sure you like and subscribe. This has been so much fun. Fran, take it away! Okay, so for the final one, what we're gonna do is we've got a barrel, you might have seen it. In the bottom of the barrel, there is some water. What I'm gonna do is take liquid nitrogen from this, put it in the bottle, and then put the lid on, something you should never do. Oh. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna put that bottle in the barrel, and that means the liquid, liquid nitrogen will form gas nitrogen, which means it will get 700 times bigger. It's a lot and we'll bigger. see what happens. I'm so hyped right now. All right. Nice and tight. It's going on. Okay. In the barrel. I'm so okay. excited. Right it's on. It's crackling. Oh no, I'm so scared. Come back next week, we're gonna blow Max up! No way!